Hi, this is Dory. Welcome to Stories by Dory, my crafting journey. In this video, I will be using StarCraft Create software to show you how you can add line fill to a design so you can engrave. Hi, I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually take a design. I'm going to use a design from crafty.net and I'm going to go ahead and use a line fill function in the create software so I can go ahead and um, engrave that. I actually can save it as SVG and engrave it either on my solo or on my Cricut maker. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and find a design. And for those of you who know me will know that I happen to like dogs. So I'm going to go to the animals, wildlife and nature section. I'm going to go ahead and click on the dog section. There are right now 126 um, variations of this. And one of the things that you're looking for when you look for a design for engraving is something that might be um, large. So I have, for example, large um, areas to engrave. If you have really thin font or um, a design, it might be a little difficult. I'm gonna choose to do the Love Has Four Paws. So I'll go ahead and click, and then a one-click download to download my file. So from here, I'm going to go into my create software and I'm going to go ahead and add my file. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop my SVG file for love onto the page. And from here, I can use the layers panel. So a little different than how it works in design space, but I can come over here to layers. I can use this drop down and you can see I have three different layers. So in other words, I've got the black, I've got the red, and then I've got these paws. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set each of these and I'm going to change the style and I'm going to go to draw. So for each of them, I'll go ahead and take the layer and change the style to draw. This is the equivalent of basically allowing me to engrave. Okay, so now I have all three of those set to draw. Next thing I'm gonna do is come back to my layers panel and I'm gonna choose how I take each layer and assign a line fill effect to it. So I can start in any of the layers. Right now I happen to have the red layer selected and I'm going to go ahead and select the layer. I'm going to go to Effects, and I'm going to come down to Line Fill. Now, this is super cool. In Design Space, this isn't anything we would have been able to do before. We could bring in a file that was a Line Fill file, so a bunch of straight lines, for example, and then, you know, maybe rotate it and then slice things, um, but it does take a while, and it also is not quite as impactful. So right now the line spacing is set to 0.025 and um, that's just because that was the last setting that I did. But the line spacing can be set to 0 0.01, 0 0.015, um, all different kinds of spaces. And then cross hatch. I now have one cross hatch pattern in here. So in other words, it's going to cross hatch it for you. And I have this one set to an angle of 30. And again, your angles can be 0, 15, 30, 45, etc. But just to give you an idea what this looks like, once I have this selected, I'm going to actually keep the original outline. So when it engraves, it will also engrave around that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on preview. And I typically find that I have to click on preview twice. And now you can actually see this. I'm gonna go ahead, click OK. And then I'm just gonna use, I'm on a, um, a, a Windows machine. I'm gonna go ahead and hold my Alt key down and I'm gonna go ahead and roll my mouse wheel up. You can actually see the design that it's created. So there's my cross hatch, the um, closeness of the lines, and then the fact that there is an angle. So I actually kind of like that. So let me come back out and let's start and do the pause. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the pause. So it's going to be just a little um, two pause here and I'm going to repeat the process, but I'm going to do a different effect. So effects line fill. And again, this is showing me what it was before, 
But now maybe what I want is I want this maybe, I'll just adjust this to 0.02. And then maybe I'm going to do no cross hatch, but I am going to use a little bit of um, an angle. So if I go ahead and preview it, again, clicking twice, and now I can zoom in. And you can see I have the outline set as well as the lines set at an angle. And I actually um, am happy with that. So I'll go ahead and select my third layer. I'm gonna do the same thing, effects, line fill. And I think on this one, I'm going to do 0.015. I'm gonna do an angle of 45. And then I'll go ahead and do two cross hatch. Preview, and again, click on preview twice. Now, you might not see anything change here but if I come in and scroll, you're going to see that this actually has a very, very fine pattern in it. Now, this would take a while to engrave, of course, because the pattern is so um, fine. So maybe I don't want to do that for such a large piece. So I think I'll just back that off a little bit so I can, with it still selected, I can come back to my effects line fill. And I think I'll go to go to, and that looks a little better. Maybe I'll just do point oh two five. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Zoom back out. So now I actually have three different patterns for my cross fill. I'll go ahead and select them all. And I just used keyboard shortcut control A. I could of course lasso it around them. I'm going to come in and I'm going to group them. And again, when you're engraving, it's not gonna really matter that they're the same color because when you engrave, they will be. And then from here, um, I can go ahead and do my merge. So basically I'm just welding it kind of all together. And then from here, I can save my design and I could even export it out as an SVG or go ahead and start my process of coming in and actually engraving it. And if I was going to do this as a, um, a design on my maker, I would come in and export it out as an SVG but if I was going to actually use this in Create and use my solo machine, I would come in and click on Create and I've actually created a custom um, preset. So if I come in and select Draw, I have a preset already set for Engrave and then I can go ahead and go from there. Thank you for watching the video. If you found this helpful, if you could please take a moment to like my video, leave a comment, and please subscribe to my channel.